Welcome back if you guys have been following me along on my journey, the YouTube journey of explaining everything about expediting. And if you're brand new, I welcome you as well. Here what we talk about is and what you guys see me do and explain to you guys is everything about expediting. What is expediting? How do I get into it? So on and so forth. I keep getting all the same questions. The channel's been out for two years. Um, and if it's a new person, I guess, it's always the same exact questions. Every video that goes out there, um, I keep getting the same exact questions. So I wanna answer a few questions today and explain a couple of things just raw. No music, no editing, nothing like that. I'm driving home right now from a current drop off that I did. I just, I just decided to pull over. Then I'm gonna do a quick video before it gets dark. You guys are used to seeing me in the dark. It's gonna get dark in an hour or so or even less than that. What is expediting? No sugar coating, none of that stuff. So let's get into it. First things first, to make good money in this business, you must absolutely, it's a must, that you guys do need to stay on the road for two to three weeks at a time currently. Currently, market is not as it used to be, not as it was after you know the pandemic let up and everything was doing great and we were raking in money and you know they were paying all kinds of crazy money because people were scared to hit the road they were scared to interact with each other and so on and so forth there's no more of that definitely no more of that expediting all night driving one got to be prepared to drive non-stop until you get to your destination two Sometimes you do end up, you know, having time to sleep, maybe two, three, four hours in a night. Sometimes, I'm saying sometimes, not every time. Yeah, you do deal with bad weather, you deal with traffic, you deal with all kinds of delays on the road, accidents happen, so on and so forth. Communication is 100% number one in this business, 100% number one. If you wanna make the most amount of money, I'm gonna come outside, I'm gonna show you guys why and how. You want to make the most amount of money? You got to have the biggest van. Biggest van is right here in front of you guys. Because I have the biggest van out there, I have absolutely no doubt, no doubt in my mind that whatever van loads are being posted or out there that we're trying to get, whatever van load is out there that we're trying to get, it's definitely going to fit in here because I can fit four standard size pallets, four pallets, four 48 by 48 pallets. There's no other van besides a Sprinter van that can do that. Ram Promaster can't do that. Ford Transit can't do that. No other cargo van, Chevy Express or any of that. I'm not talking about cutaways and I'm not talking about box trucks. I'm talking straight up cargo van. Best van, in my opinion, you wanna have the biggest, the longest, the tallest, that is a Sprinter. What makes a Sprinter is Mercedes or Freightliner. You don't have to have a brand new van for this business. You can have something with low mileage that's used. I recommend that, especially if you're starting out because there's some folks that actually do start this. I've been doing this for eight years and I know that some people go out and buy a brand new van, they go and outfit it, they do everything nice and neat and they think they're gonna be all making all kinds of crazy money and they go out there and it's not for them. They stay on the road, sometimes do one or two loads, then they turn around and go home. Sometimes they last a couple weeks, um, but hey, if you last a month, more than likely this will be for you. But usually people, there is the factor that some folks are not gonna be designed for this. If you like to sleep in, this is no sugar coating. You know, if you like to sleep in and you're a sleepy kind of person, this job is not for you. It's definitely not for you. If you have problem waking up to an alarm, this job is not for you. If you are a type of person like me that wakes up before your alarm rings, this job could be for you. It could be, it definitely could be. A lot of times I go to sleep and I wake up while I'm on the road and route, you know, pulling over somewhere to sleep at a rest area or at a truck stop. You pull over to sleep, you set an alarm for whatever, it's in three hours, it's in four hours, whatever, with giving yourself enough time for delivery. You wake up, like I, a guy like me, uh, often, uh, very, very often, I wake up before the thing even rings. 
it's just how it is but if you like to sleep in guess what our dispatch we're not supposed to be waking you up we're not supposed to be checking up on you and asking you why aren't you driving why are you you know why do you have bad uh driving skills time management skills and so on and so forth because in our mind and the way i am i i'm the owner of the company but i do drive here and there also just because there's no drivers or i want to get out of the office or i want to make some videos for people to figure out what expediting is all about to help you guys out so i do drive sometimes myself i don't go to the east coast but i do all west i do washington oregon idaho um i sometimes go to nevada i sometimes go to utah if it pays round trip whatever can pay a round trip i go on it myself if there's no other driver out in this area so not often that happens that's why you don't see too many videos of mine but sometimes it does happen a lot of people are afraid of the west they don't come out here so that's where i come in van doesn't have to be brand new you do not need an mc number you do not need a dot number um, you don't need any of that stuff what you do need is a long van we only work with extended and high roof vans if you guys want to work with eagle express which is our company you must have a bigger van at least i used to work with only extended it used to be only extended now we switched it up a little bit it was hard to get vans with the whole vehicle issue and all the i don't want to get into that but bare minimum you need 144 inches of cargo space that's the bare bare minimum that we take if it's less than that i'm sorry but you're not a good fit for our company might have to go find somebody else but we don't work with anyone who's not at least 144 inches long inside other things if you're planning to get into this and you're planning to make a lot of money you got to put on a lot of miles to put on a lot of miles you got to do a lot of driving that's where being away from home comes into play it's not a job for somebody who thinks they can you know go out for two to three days or four days and be back every single weekend at home it's not gonna happen definitely don't even try it don't waste your money on the van don't even bother filling out our paperwork because I don't want to waste the ink to print it and, and to file it for you and everything else. It's a big waste of time for us. It's going to be a big waste of time for you as well. You're just not going to make it. To make it in this, you must be able to drive a lot of miles. You must be able to clear at least a thousand miles in 24 hours. That's a bare minimum. That's nothing. A thousand miles is nothing. We've got drivers that can do 1,500 miles in 24 hours and more. So... It just all depends on, you know, what you're capable of. A lot of people think they are capable of doing it and they get into this and they can't drive at night. They figure out that, no, no, I can't drive at night. And there's going to be those haters that follow the channel that are going to be, you know, writing all kinds of crazy comments. You do have to sleep. You do have to this. You do have to that. And hey, you know what? Thank God that this job is not for everybody. I'm going to say it up front. It's not for everybody. And thank the Lord that it isn't, because if it was for everybody, we'd be dealing with all kinds of all kinds of people. This is made for people that are disciplined. It's made for folks that sit down, go pick it up, sit down, go deliver it, sleep on site, are ready to go at any moment and ready to roll. Because there's just some drivers out there that, you know, sign up with us, but then they have issues as far as getting to pick up um you know leaving the house it takes them you know hours to leave the house when you know we don't have hours if you tell us you're ready to go we're looking for a load for you we get it you need to within minutes sit down and go to pick up because everything we do is time critical freight it's all time critical the pickup is time critical the delivery is time critical everything needs to be done on time pickup delivery if there's delays they need to be reported to dispatch all that stuff so I drive a van that's a diesel van. Um, in my opinion, you can drive whatever you want. We only work with three different kind of vans, the Sprinter, the Promaster, or Ford Transit. No other kind, that's it, only three models. If you got something else, look for somebody else. I 
like I said, this video is going to be a hardcore one. No sugar coating. If you got a small van, you're not a good fit for us. If you have a long van, you can drive, you can put on miles, you can stay on the road for two to three weeks at a time to be able to make that money. Good. Email address is right down in the description. I'll leave it right down there and you guys can email for an application. I'll send it your way. Usually the whole process doesn't take more than the you know, next day or the following day to get you filed, complete, and ready to hit the road as soon as you are ready to go. So turnaround time with working with us is super quick. You know, I, I'll have you hitting the road next day or even maybe same day if, you've, if you, that's what you need. Couple other things about expediting. Yes, you're gonna get homesick. If you have a family, it's gonna be very difficult for you. If you guys have, you know, kids, you're trying to be home a lot, it's not gonna work. I don't tell people that you need to work a lot all the time. I tell you that you need to stay out for two to three weeks at a time, and you can stay home for two to three weeks when you come back home. So the, the time that you're on the road should be equivalent to the time that you're spending at home after you get home. You get what I'm saying? And I know everybody has a different income amount that they need to make to be able to be comfortable or to be able to drop the job that they currently have to get into this because there's a lot of sacrificing you do. It's a lot of sacrificing. Sacrifice from being away from home, sacrifice sleeping, you know, the folks that don't sleep, you know, you, you're not used to sleeping a lot or you don't like to sleep a lot, this could definitely be the job for you. If you can get away with sleeping four to six hours and 24 hours or less, you can make a ton of money in this business, a ton, a ton. Daily, the loads are actually picking up, usually for the most part in the afternoon, then they deliver either direct, nonstop, or they deliver first thing in the morning. So depending on your mileage, you do have to be prepared to drive either all night long or deliver, you know, first thing in the morning, which will allow you a couple hours of sleep. That's Monday through Friday stuff. If you get a load on a Friday and the delivery is set for Monday because the place of business is closed on the week, weekends, then during that week, weekend, I'm sorry, you do have more time to actually deliver that load. That's when you can actually, you know, take the time and so on and so forth to go do things, explore things and so on and so forth. This job, we don't make you work every single day. If you tell us, hey, book me everything you see, as soon as I deliver, you can find me another load. I don't need to rest. I don't need to take time off. I don't need to take days off. Then we just do that. There's no forced, there, there's some folks that talk about that we do forced dispatching. It's not forced dispatching. When you tell me that you're available and ready to go and I'm finding you a load, you jump in the van and go deliver it. I'm not gonna send you to a place where I can't get you out of. Sometimes there is downtime that we that's unexpected. Could be that the rate is too high. Could be that there's too many vehicles in that area. Could be that there's just no freight there that day. It happens. And it happens more to the folks that tell us they, you know, that have that make plans to go places. Uh, today I rent, actually read a comment that when I was explaining in another video that I've done, that the folks that suffer are the ones that tell us, you know, I'll go there and there and I won't go there and there, or only send me there, or I don't want short miles, I only want long miles, or I only want this and that. Hey, we're gonna book you a load that we think pays really well for that whole day. If it's, a, if it's been a whole day, and you guys have been waiting for a full day on the road, you know, at a truck stop for a load, and we've been bidding for you all day and we haven't found you something long, then obviously on a short load, if there's a short load, we're gonna bid a little more for it so it compensates for like a day of work. So you can at least make 400, 500 bucks. That's what we try to do. If it's a short run, obviously it's gonna pay more. I'm not talking about, you know, the pay for only 50 miles, 100 miles, stuff like that. That's chump change, we don't deal with that because we can't make any money off that load and you can't make any money off that load. It just does not make any sense you know, to do short runs for very little money. No sense. A lot of questions being asked about, you know, what do I need? How do I need to outfit the van and this and that? 
there's a lot of videos that I've put out about my van, how it's outfitted. I've got a diesel air heater back there. It's hooked up into the tank. Very easy to do in a Sprinter van, the diesel ones. If you don't have a diesel van and drive a gas one, very easy. You can buy on Amazon, type in diesel air heater in the, in the search and you'll see them. Self-contained units where you can pour the diesel in there and it'll work. Uh, or the one if you guys do run a Sprinter van, in Sprinters they have a leader hose under my seat in the back of it under the van that comes directly from a fuel tank so you tap into that line and there you go it sucks the fuel directly from the tank from your stock tank you don't need to mess around with you know putting fuel inside the van if it's a gas one yes you do if it's a sprinter you don't have to so it's very very simple to do that very easy i'm probably forgetting a ton of things but you know, a lot of folks, they, they say that, you know, expediting is super easy. Um, for me, yes, it's easy because it's easier than being out in the rain, like what you see out there, doing some kind of construction work, road work, roofing, framing, uh, anything. If Even if you're indoors and you're doing carpet laying and flooring and all that stuff, that's hard on your body as well. This could be hard on your body if you like to sleep. But if you're not that, you know, if you don't need a ton of sleep, this job could be for you guys. No MC number needed, no DOT number needed. You don't have to have a company um, to run this. You can do it under a social, but I do recommend that you do get one because you can have more tax write-offs. You know, you can have an office at home and, you know, if you have a secretary, you can pay your secretary. Um, you know, there, there's just so many things that you could have. If you do a, an LLC and do like an S Corp, you could write yourself a W-2, so on and so forth. I'm not a tax guy, but I'm just explaining to you guys that yes, you can run it both ways, under a company or just under your social. Either way, you're gonna get a 1099 form at the end of the year from us. That's how we work. You're your own independent contractor. You tell us when you're available and when you want time off. If today you drove and you've delivered like I just have, and then you tell dispatch, hey, don't find me anything. I'm feeling like I just want to take the rest of the night off. I'm available tomorrow morning. Hey, all to you, you know, even if it's morning time and you tell us that, not the end of the day, it's all good. We understand you can have that day off. If you drove from Chicago to Miami, and you want two, three days off. You guys want to swim in the ocean. You do want to do whatever you want to do. Take time off, go to Disneyland, sit at the beach for two, three days, get your tan on. You can definitely do that. We don't care. As long as you deliver your load and tell us, hey, don't look for anything else because while you're still in transit, we do look for freight too. So we could book you a load while before you even delivered your next one for the next day. But as long as communication is there, we're all good. We're never going to have an issue. Some people think that we do forced dispatching. I call forced dispatching when you tell us you don't want to do something and we and a company still makes you want to do it or not want to do it, but still makes you go and pick that load up and deliver it. Like I said, we don't do that. If you tell us you're available, you're ready to work, that means you're ready to work. It's just no common sense, you know what I mean? Why are we forcing you to work? When you say that you're ready for work and we're not going to force you to, to work if you guys say that you're taking time off, that you are you want the next day off or you need to go do an oil change or you need to take your you know vehicle to, to a dealership or something like that or you came to visit some friends and you want a couple days off. Nobody, we are not going to make you work. We're not going to force you to work. So quick raw video no music no editing no nothing like that so if you guys want to do expediting you're more than welcome to come on board we will take you on you guys can make really good money currently it is the beginning of december first week into it rates are a little bit down in the southern parts they're a bit better in the northern parts so to do this you guys got to be prepared to drive all over 48 states not just be in a regional area because to make money, you got to put on a lot of miles. To put on a lot of miles, you got to go wherever the load takes you. So, hope that explains it to you guys. I hope you guys understand. 
if you want to listen to somebody that sugarcoats things that makes things up or hides something and you know makes it seem like it's all bubbly and all all great and there's never any issues with any job there's always some kind of an issue there could be an issue getting loaded could be an issue getting unloaded could be an issue where you arrive to pick up your freight and it's not there could have been canceled you know there's still things that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis that are unpredictable things that nobody could predict it's just things that happen so yeah there's a lot of that going on too but you know we try to keep drivers happy get them the the loads that they want the mileage that they can handle we're not going to force you to drive non-stop if you can't handle that mileage so i hope that makes sense it's sincere from me to you guys i hope you can understand that i am being sincere honest and i never hide anything when it comes to expediting or explaining to you guys what this job is all about so if you got your own van email address is right in the description welcome on board if you guys want to join eagle if you guys want to go somewhere else you can go somewhere else we pay weekly there's no takeouts for for paying you guys quick pay which is every single week so your pay is always one week behind um, current rates 85 cents to a dollar a mile could be a little more for short miles like i said if it's 100 200 miles obviously it should be like 350 400 maybe 500 dollars for the driver if we can get it but long mileage you know 500 700 and up you know 85 to a buck a mile is what the current rates are depending on what area you're in competition um weather i mean all that has everything to do with it so today there could be nobody there and to, tomorrow when you arrive over there there could be 20 more vans like you or even more and then we just have to bid a little bit cheaper to get you going and i believe this is just my opinion you guys can think however you want about this issue but something some people think it's an issue that we're hauling cheap freight for 85 cents well if you've arrived somewhere and you can't get out for a dollar a mile we're trying a full day don't you think it's better to get out for cheaper and make money that day instead of lose money that day because in the end if you don't move insurance no payment if you have one food that you got to eat fuel that you've burned up sitting you know in a hot area or a cold area if you don't have the proper heating and all that stuff all that adds up and you could be anywhere between you know 20 to a hundred dollars that you lose in one day just because you didn't drive so don't tell me that i haul freight or our drivers haul cheap freight for 85 cents a mile and nobody should be doing that well you got to do whatever it takes and i believe and all our drivers we're on the same page that it's better to make a little less money than lose money that day simple truth there's just it's simple math you can either make money or lose money yeah you might make a little less but you're still making it so i hope that makes sense to you guys it's getting dark i'm hungry i haven't even had a lunch today yet so i gotta go to pasco i'm gonna be driving right through there find me a place to go get me a sandwich or something and head home look at the weather out here this is hermingston oregon at home we had a ton of snow in spokane area ton of snow we got like over two feet of snow already and it's before christmas still thanks for watching subscribe to the channel smash the like button if you guys like what i'm talking about follow along and so on and so forth if you're a fellow driver and you guys want to switch over to us we'll take you if you're working for somebody else you're happy there hey god bless you guys god bless your efforts and you know hopefully you guys can make as much money as you can doing this type of work. Take care.